Hello, my lovely friends. This is Marta from Drop of Sunshine. Welcome in my studio, my friends. Today I am coming with a card created with this free gift from the amazing Simply Cards and Paper Craft issue 220, and I just absolutely love it. I love this uh, stamp set, and you've got additional Crafter Companion uh, stamp with the coordinating die, which you can see on the side. But I truly, truly love this leaf pattern design it's very autumny you've got the pumpkin you've got this uh, tea coffee mug i really really like it for my card base i am creating the card which is eight by eight inches size which i am scoring and i'll just chop off the excess and then i will create myself some uh, mats and layers i will be using this um, pearly paper it's like a white um, kind of ivory i would say uh, it's not super clean white uh, pearly paper and then a piece of the gold cardstock to create this uh, little framing around and first step, I've lost my little container with the powder. I'm trying to use the bigger, uh, just to squeeze a drop of the powder from the bigger container. But as you can see, <laughs> I've poured a whole lot of it. Uh, but this is just to help me get rid of any static. There is a, a special tool for that, but I don't have it. I had one, uh, but the um, bristles from the um, tool, they just totally you know uh, broke one by one and it's just not working as i would like to so i'm just using this uh, baby powder and simple simple just a normal brush to to help me to do that now i am choosing my stamps i am selecting all those lovely leaves i am just uh, assembling them to the stamping blocks which I honestly, I'm looking, I'm on a search for the smaller stamping blocks. I have them. I do have them somewhere in my studio, but I've, I'm not sure where did I place them. So you can see me having a fight with this big um, chunky blocks uh, for, for my stamping, but um, they do the job exactly the same as a smaller one. It would be just more comfortable to, to use the smaller one. What I am doing is I am just uh, simply stamping uh, with the embossing ink. This is a Tsukineko, uh, this Versamark embossing ink I am using. This is just the old ink pad which I washed and now I'm adding the um, extra you know couple of drops of the embossing uh, ink to to the um, to the sponge and now I'm stamping and I will be using some embossing ink uh, I because it's quite uh, simple what I'm doing and doesn't require any more explanation I want to take a second to actually tell you my friends I've been missing action for a couple of week, uh, days actually nearly a week uh, but uh, my son is unwell he's he's having some some troubles with his health so uh, this is really taking my time and, and energy and I am not able to um, to fully jump in into the crafting as I would like to uh, so I'm sorry for that I'm sorry if I'm late in replying to all your messages and I also have a couple of the parcels to sell uh, of the free gifts uh, which was the winning of the competition for my live classes I didn't have the live classes last Sunday as I've uh, previously said uh, two weeks ago, nearly two weeks ago, I will be taking a, a week of the break because it was our 10th anniversary uh, of our wedding coming for me and my husband. But uh, unfortunately, our son um, got a little bit trouble with his health. So he's now on a, some steroids and antibiotics and he's just needing a little bit more love and, and more cuddles than, than usual. So I'm spending a time with him. Uh, so I'm so Sorry for all the delays. I hope you will forgive me that. And now going back to my card, I use this uh, Moonshine, uh, what's the company? Uh, Moon Glow, I'm sorry. Uh, Moon Glow uh, Golden Pumpkin Blush uh, Embossing Powder, which is like a clear kind of embossing powder with the mica powder uh, or some pigment powder. Very, very uh, delicate color. As you can see, a little bit yellowish, uh, but it's just really, really looking lovely. 
However, uh, be careful if you stamp and use this kind of a embossing powder on a white paper because there is this pigment ink which can a little bit colorate your paper. I don't have this problem here because the cardstock I use it was pearly in, in the first place. It was central pearl uh, paper, so it would not matter. But if you would put this embossing um, powder on your white paper that sometimes can color a little bit give you this uh, this shiny surface so you either uh, can take a piece of the kitchen towel like you see I did for the inside portion of, of my card uh, which I also have this pigment powder from catching the embossing powder and you can just very very simply uh, just wipe it off just use a dry towel and that should take it off now I I am doing uh, two layers of the embossing. First one was this pearly paper, a uh, pearly powder, and the second one is this Ranger uh, white embossing powder as well because I want to have some differentiation between the leaves so uh, they're not all in the same color and I think this is a very very lovely combination for using like a cream and white color embossing for any design uh, not only leaves but all sorts of the design and this gives you a very beautiful subtle background which is perfect for all like a wedding cards or anniversary really really lovely uh, design to use now I will be stamping all my images and I actually at first I've grabbed the distress ink but then I thought I have these paints lying around they were beside my desk because my son has played with them not long ago and I had them and I've just spot them and I was like okay I'm gonna use those paints for a very very quick coloring I have this pearly uh, paints which I don't even know the name uh, I'm sorry I've got them as a present from the uh, retired art teacher she was downsizing her craft room and she passed me a lot of the products which were like half use uh, still very good quality still very usable but they didn't have any packaging uh, i've got some like a markers some different like a paints all mediums like a couple bo bottles of the glue uh, so i'm really really thankful and and blessed to have such an incredible luck to receive all those goodies so um i was using those paints a little bit with my son uh, because they're on this nice plate when on this nice plastic palette so i thought i will be using them and because i know i will be adding some moisture to my um, stamping images that's why i stamp all the images in archival link and here you can see there's the paints a little bit messy uh, but uh, <laughs> my three-year-old uh, was trying to mix and match the colors a little bit so i tried to clean it up i still need to wash off this middle portion but um uh, that will do for the quick coloring they are very very saturated in pigment and very shiny i don't know the company if anyone knows it you can give me a shout in the comment uh, but they're very very uh, i would say kind of opaque because they uh, if i put them over my uh, stamping image uh, they were covering up this this image a little bit but they have so much nice shine shininess to them that i just love them and those color they match up here perfectly and as you can see this is a very basic quick coloring i'm not even paying attention i'm going for the watercolor look so uh, i left some of the white uh, picking through so it's not exactly color it's just very very quick and easy and now I am just adding my heating tool just a little bit to dry it off because I would like to cut them out using my brother's cannon cut machine. And for that, I know that paper needs to be dry. Otherwise, the, the blade can just tear the paper if it's going to be wet. And because this piece of the paper it got a little bit wonky and i'll just tell you my friends this is a 120 gsm paper it's very thin but i've chose it because it's got this linen cardstock finish and uh, to help me out uh, to cutting them out i used the masking tape to secure my borders and then as you can see i've just cut them within a matter of a couple of minutes 
Uh, so uh, I am, I've decided I need some sentiment for my card as well. And for that, I'm using this grateful, thankful, blessed uh, sentiment, which I truly, truly love. I absolutely love this type of the uh, gratitude stamps. Uh, this is one of my favorite to put on a card because I know that despite everything going on, uh, I am still very blessed. I am still very lucky. I am a bit upset as, as a mom because none of the parents want to see their child, you know, being in pain or, or going through some some illness. This is not, um, you know, something we want to deal with. But overall, I'm still thankful. I'm still very positive trying to keep myself in in this gratitude uh, you know feeling that it could be worse there's so many kids who are going under such a more uh, you know uh, difficult uh, illness and and terminal uh, illnesses which which the parents nothing can do about so uh, me you know having having this a little bit difficult time it's just nothing compared to the others so uh, yeah but Thank you so very much, my friends, for all of your message. Once again, uh, I just wanted to say that I receive a bunch of the messages, uh, positive thoughts as well. So thank you so very much. I really, really appreciate your your help and your support and your question asking, because some of you were asking like, oh, where where are you, Marta? Why are you keeping up on the silent? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm just I'm just a little bit more like spending a time as a mom than as a crafter lately that um, I just wanted to let you know my friends just in case um, yeah uh, so uh, for the front of my card I actually decide to uh, use this white piece of the paper which I embossed using this creative uh, expression embossing folder I think it's a trellis I will double check the name for you my friends uh, but it's a very very old embossing but I thought this uh, this lovely pattern very nice design will be actually matching really well with these leaves and here I am just trying to put up my composition uh, just a, a little bit around the sentiment and then uh, a little bit extra on the lower uh, left side of the of the panel i thought it will be looking nice and once i will be happy i just try a little bit and uh, now i need to trim this uh, strip just to give me exactly the same size uh, as my color it stamp it Im image paper uh, so i will have this gold frame picking from underneath and uh, just to let you know i use the spellbinder dies um, one is decorative die for the golden uh, label and then uh, the other one is for my uh, sentiment part which is with the plain edge and i think this is labels number four as well i will double check that i'm sorry i can't remember top of my head because I'm recording the voiceover on a different time they actually record the video. And here you can see I have the tear on this large square which was right on the edge. So that would be picking through uh, from underneath my card. So I just grab one more of this gold uh, pieces of the cardstock and I will just use it as my uh, mat for my front uh, panel. Uh, but the other one, it's not going to go to the waist. I will either trim it to the smaller size for other card or I will cut some elements out of it. So I'm definitely keeping everything. I think on this side, I am kind of a hoarder. I don't know, like you, my friends, but I just keep every single scrap of the paper. I am keeping it and it's going to go to the ridiculous point when I have a drawers, literally drawers full of the scraps, which I'm thinking I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it <laughs> and it's not happening and I'm getting more and more scraps. But uh, recently I've, I've decided that this is it. Uh, it's enough. It's time to give away. Uh, some of those scraps so uh, whenever I'm creating some some parcel or some mail I'm just chomping a batch of it to uh, to the boxes as well <laughs> so if I'm not gonna use it then my crafty friends could use it as well so maybe that will help me to get rid of some of those uh, scrap pieces now 
I've got this little strip of the embossed paper and I've decided to put it in kind of a curly way. Uh, so uh, I add some foam tape and as you could notice, I've put the middle strip, I double up uh, the foam and then on two other like top and the bottom strip, they are single. So uh, once the strip adhere to my card base, it's naturally curve up a little bit. It's not very, uh, very visible curve, but that way, uh, it gives me this nice dimension in the center and those edges are just lying nicely uh, towards the, the card base. And now uh, time to um, finally finish off the card by gluing all the elements. I also grab a piece of the ribbon which I have to straighten up because it's got a little bit curl uh, and it's uh, I, I want to have it nice and, and straight so I will be straightening it up in a second. But before I'm going to do that, I am attaching all my elements with the help of the hot glue. And here you can see I am tearing off some bits. If it's too large, too long, I am just, um, you know, don't be afraid. Just tear up uh, your stamped image a little bit so it will help you to, to put the exact uh, placement as you want. And now I am just adding a little bit of the foam tape uh, for my pumpkin uh, just to help it rise it up a little bit from, from the composition. And I am placing all those leaves and uh, berries, everything I have. Uh, I've just tried to, to place it nice way so, so it will have this nice flow. Uh, when you look on a card, I like to, to use this uh, kind of a tree uh, rule when it's like... A, unsymmetrical and here I have two sets of the composition like one on the left side one on the right side and then I will add the bow for making it three so that will be visually having this nice flow on the card and here this is my way of straightening up uh, my ribbons I am having this little uh, hair straightener this is just like a holiday version of the straightener I've bought it for literally a couple of pounds and I think now we will be a good time because there will be a sale on all those holiday items so if you're ever in a drugstore like with some cosmetic beauty products have a look on, on them because they're really really inexpensive and this uh, straightener helped me a lot i store my ribbons uh, in a container and sometimes because i am folding up folding them they have those fold creases so now i don't have to worry about them if they get creased uh, this is just takes me a second uh, to you know straighten them up and they just look like brand new and here i am adding this ribbon and i will be looking for some sort of a button here you can see i have a lovely collection all which i also received from that lady she gave me so much different things that i'm so grateful and thankful and i'm trying to bring them into my crafting uh, so she'll know that um, i really really appreciate all the gifts from her and uh, in a second you will see the close-up look i think the car just looking gorgeous and i hope you will enjoy it too thank you so very much my friends stay blessed i am wishing you all the best for you and your family and the health especially so you could live healthy and prosperous and once again thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so far and i hope to see you shortly have a wonderful day Bye bye